Hi guys, well as you can see here, uh, a little job I've got on the go is um, I was going to put a new battery in this little remote controlled Chinook. This is my dad's, it was sat on his shelf. Yeah, he flew it a couple of times, first time he flew it, he took it, took off, it went straight up in the air, straight into the light shade, smashed the glass lamp shade where it was it. Anyway. It wouldn't hold a charge, never did charge very well. Now you can see this this is all that's inside it. This is a circuit board and the battery was just sat on the back there. Or oh, back here actually, tie a little tie wrap on. Um so I took this battery out, you can see it's really fat. There's obviously um something wrong with that. So I pumped that part number in on the internet and the closest I could get to it was this one which is the, the first two digits are different, it's obviously been superseded but it's the same voltage um, so it actually gives you when you pump this number in it gives you the uh, amp hour amp an hour um, so it was slightly higher, I think this one was 185, so that's slightly higher. You can see the difference in the thickness of that one, whether or not it will swell up when it's charged. But you can get these in China for 2.99, And I bought it from a UK site, 9.99. Apparently it's the postage cost because they're a battery, they have to be sent out first class. That bangs the postage up, but... Um, just trying to get this one going. So I took it apart, stuck the screws on there so I didn't lose anything. And I've just soldered that on. Now what you, what you want to try and do is get hold of some heat shrink rather than using insulation tape. It just makes for a, a better job. And um, she's working with the charge that's in the battery. So, um, I'll stick that on charge, put it back together. Hopefully we saved another toy. Not much inside that. Okay, cheers, mate.